Are you ready for more 3x3 here at the Creelon FIBA 3x3 World Cup 2022? Coming at you from Antwerp, Belgium. We're out here in the Flanders region, and we have reached the final four contest of the day as pool play will be over and done with. After that, hello. A nice couple. It could be brother and sister, but whoever they are, we're happy to see them here. Happy to see fans still hanging, uh, even though we don't have any Belgian teams uh, playing the rest of the way. We do have an Egyptian team and a Poland team that's up next. Two games for the women, two games for the men. That would decide groups C for the women and groups B for the men and officially solidify our quarterfinals and play-in games. What's good, good people? It has been a pleasure being with you all day today on an 18-game slate. Let's see, I lost count for a moment, but I think we had 58 games in the hall coming into today. So that means we would have 76 in the books. No, yeah, 76 in the books by the end of the day today. And obviously tomorrow we're going to the elimination rounds. Egypt, they will need a lot of help to get in because they come into today, oh, well, one and one. They got a forfeit thanks to uh, the Dominican Republic not being able to show up. So that counts as a win. They lost to Belgium 6-15. to 15. So, you saying they got a chance? I'm saying they got a chance. It's going to be difficult against Poland because this is one of the stronger teams in the field. Poland, 22-7 win over Mongolia. Of course, the forfeit W uh, due to the Dominican Republic not being able to show. And they also get a win over Belgium, 13-12, a close win. Uh, th that, th that means the 3-0. Oh. They get a win here, automatically they get the one C. So here they are in the red, Aldona Manovic, Dominika Osvar Sharzak, Claudia Gurchin, and Claudia Sosnowska. I made it. Egypt with Ashwar Maged, Hala, Eshwara, Moral Abdel Gawad, Radwa Salim Ahmed Sharif. There's the men's team. They, they won't be playing day five, but they are good friends with the Austrians. Their win over Slovenia to cap the day yesterday changed the dynamics of the third seed coming out of that group. It ended up lifting the one in three Austrian men to day five. Can they give the women the energy to pull off a shocker here? Azra Maged, she looks ready to go. Rocker number nine in white. Poland will be trying to make easy work of the Egyptians. There's Kobe. Aldana Marovic, 30 years old. She's back with a left leg brace, but nobody's been able to hold her. She's still got major game. And Poland won't be looking past this Egyptian team. Again, seeing what the men did yesterday. You just can't look past anybody in this sprint to 21. So this is game one of a final four that we'll go through here. And the countdown's on. The last session is officially underway. We're off. Clock is running. Poland with the cookie in hand. Avsharzak swings it down low. Sosnowska, no problem. Easy money to start things off. Push white. White ball, my bad. Push red. Egypt stays with it. Ashra. She's got a cutter. Mostafa out of there. Lefty lane. All right. 1-1. One, one. 
Gertrude will kick it. Monovic sets her feet. And she comes up with a two-piece. Nice passing after the steal as Monovic adds another drop in the bucket. That's three points for her. And a quick 4-1 start for the Poles. We'll give you a look at all the brackets. Once we wrap up action today, you'll know exactly who's playing who come tomorrow. Monovic will let it fly. She comes empty on that two attempts. Sachnowska will track it down. Another long bomb. Wet business. 6-1. As that one goes for Avsharzak. There's a steal. Avsharzak with the ball again. She wants to get it down low. Sachnowska puts it up. A lot of contact on the way up. That will draw a whistle. And another trip to the free throw line. The leading scorer throughout pool play, Sosnowska. And in this group, C that is, each team getting a reward, so to speak, with a win because the Dominican Republic did not show up. That would explain why we have 18 games on the schedule instead of 20. I ain't mad. Ashraf. She might be a little mad after missing that crib. Sosnowska. Is able to get the feed, and that's good eating. I just had some good eating. I had some delicious ramen here. Thanks to my senior director hooking me up. Thank you, sir. I was famished. Gertrude <laughs> from Long Range. Sometimes I talk about things that have nothing to do with what's in front of us. This 3x3 uh, game is unique, and so was the broadcast experience. Some of you have gotten used to it by now, and some of you are like, what the heck is this dude talking about? Well, the conversation all about Poland so far, they lead it by seven quickly with two minutes in. Poland, the three seed, continuing to climb the ranks and women's 3x3 hoop. The men's team has, they've been in the mix for the better part of the last six or seven years. The women doing their thing on the women's series the past couple of years as a perennial contender. A swipe from behind. That will draw another whistle, Yu Yin. So Sosnowska starts it from the logo after the check ball. She will curl around, setting up on the right wing, clear some space, and that leaves an opening for, oh, Monovic. She sold the bag underneath. You don't see that very often. Ashwar, no. Sosnowska will come clear. Avsharzak taking her time, setting up and setting the shot. But these girls ain't loyal. No, they ain't. Mustafa. Oh, that, I think that's off of White's foot. Yep, red ball. What's happening? Sosnovska. She'll drive and kick. Gurchin. Two toes behind the line. She tickles the twine. <laughs> Push red, but a 10-1 lead. You knew that it there was the potential for something like this to, to happen. Not saying the game's over, uh, but not an ideal start for Egypt. One score, Poland's already in double digits, and we haven't quite reached three minutes in. We just did. That screen was illegal. And we're already at the TV timeout. Poland already halfway to the 21 point mark. Almost. So Egypt will uh, huddle up. They weren't able to, to 
put the ball in the bucket very much against Belgium. They lost six to 19 in that game. And again, what's at stake for Poland is the number one seed. They want to go into the elimination rounds unbeaten. Feed underneath, Monovic. Easy breezy. Sosnowska with the steal. It's stolen right back. Sosnowska will kick it. Avsharzak off target from Long. Good feed on the inside. And Mostafa gets that one up and in. Kobe, step back. You don't know me like that. Better do your research. 13-2, she's a bucket. Mostafa getting another bucket underneath. So back-to-back -back scores for her as Avsharzak makes her move. Kobe on the move. Look at the release. She's got the gooseneck up there. One flick of the wrist is a, not a swish, but it counts as two, 15-3. Monovic is out. Avsharzak is in. Fast move to the left. No choice but to foul there. Fourth on Egypt. Poland already within six of getting to that victorious number of 21. Yeah. Uh -huh. Free throw's good. That means the lead is now at 13. Get it to the hot hand. It remains hot as Mostafa scores it again. Madovic playing with her food. Swishalicious. 18-4. Nice control of the ball there from Ashraf to protect it and get the score. But this looks like it's going to be a two-point exhibition from Poland. They are wasting no time. They are rushing to 21 like they are late for the quarterfinals. Oh, Monovic. That one comes out on her. Ashraf, baseline, scoop, de do. Tough bucket. Egypt with a six point. One third of what Poland has put up through just over five minutes of play. They continue to chunk the deuces, but that one's off the mark. Oh, in and out. Ashra, shoulder fake, scoop goes in. Egypt will also play Mongolia. Monovic short on that, and a foul underneath is Gurchin fighting for the rebound. She will step up to the stripe and have a chance to shoot one. Gurchin, long on the release. Sosnowska takes it back. Probably should have took it up. She turns it over, says, my bad. Aswar, left to right, right to left. Took too much time getting directions. So Gurchin will get a rest as her pole teammates will play on. Avsharzak makes the move, lofts it in. Madovic is held up with a foul. No more to give for Egypt. Quick move, Absharzak swings it, Gurchin. She wants a two-piece. No. Sosnowska, she wants one, too. Same answer. Oh, stepped on the line. Knew it immediately. 
Second TV timeout, 348. Three points to go for Poland. Maravik will start with it. They're not going to be trigger shot when it comes to two pointers, and they say, oh. Sosnowska blew the crib. Oh, nice dribble drive. Aswar. Man, fast and furious. Maravik. Eighteen to eight, ten point lead for the Poles. Six fouls on Egypt. They in all kinds of trouble. Maravik out of position on the shot attempt. So Egypt will take over. Whoa, that's a hard offensive foul right there. Mustafa. She put off Sharzak on her back. Kind of leaned into that screen. Can't do that. Sabnowska will hand it off. She's going to go down to the block that will leave Gurchin open. Two ball bank. Game point, Poland. I would say that direct spot in the quarterfinals is safe. The ankles ain't safe. Outstanding move. Mustafa aggressively attacking the rim. Just misses the shot. This could end it here. Of Sharzak halfway down came out. She's like, oh. Oh, nobody's home. 225 left. In pool C. Poland will go into the quarters as an undefeated. Madovic, who started off hot, has missed her last two attempts. She's not worried. They shouldn't be. It's an 11-point cushion. Radwa and one. Hoop and a harm right there. Nice play. Radwa. Nada. Matovic. She's done playing around. Kobe with the game winner. And that ends quickly. Still with two minutes left on the clock. 22 to 10. Poland. They land into the quarterfinals without a single loss. I'm not sure if the Dominican Republic had showed up, they would have beat this team anyway. Egypt will have one more contest against Mongolia. Must be played to decide the two and three seeds. So they will cap the day. Before then, we got two men's games. We got a good one coming up next between Lithuania and Germany. And then Chinese Taipei and Chile. Look back at the highlights in this one. All right. Few, uh, few looks at Poland's highlights. There weren't that many for Egypt. 
But you can see the attack was coming early and often from all angles from the poles. Inside, outside, on the drive, on the cut. This is going to be a tough team. And especially when they have Kobe shooting the shot. Mustafa showed some effort in that contest, some real effort in attacking the bucket. This is a strong finish from Ashraf. But again, few and far between. This was a double digit lead uh, almost from the outset. 10 to one right out of the gates before we even got to the first TV timeout. Uh, so Egypt clearly outmatched in this contest. They get an A for effort. Poland gets a W for their effort. A few last looks and that was the last shot and that is it. All right, we're gonna get, we got a little bit of time before we get to our next game between Lithuania and Germany. So in the meantime, why don't we take a look, take a look at the top plays of 2021 and then these other plays. Oh man, they made 3x3 history. Above par for this USA team. Oh my goodness! That was filthy! Bushidi up top! Teamwork making the dream work! As Yebo, he was looking down in the rim when he threw that thing down. Uh, uh, uh. Game point. Call it game! Bushidi! Slicing they hopes like a machete. It's done. Plum left lonesome. She reroutes, changed direction, goes behind the back like a surprise, and sets Katie Lou up for two. 19-19, buck 22. Oh, they almost lost that ball here. But this game will be over with a two ball. And here it is, right here, right now. Lithuania with a huge win over Spain that will lead them into the quarterfinals. Oh, you fancy, uh, no-look feed from Soka sets up Melo. 16-9. Fabricio with the rebound. No foul to be given. Oh, 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 okay. The crossover and the finish just to top it off the way she should. There you go. No big happy. Mercy TV. We got a body bag. Clean up on aisle one. Remember that kind of go Of course. Oh, nice drive. Oh, no, he did not. He just deflated his Wilson. He said, he hit him with the gangster slap.
Are we having fun out here in Antwerp? We got dance contests, we got shooting contests, we got BMX bikers, we got a whole lot going on. DJ Dysfunctional, DJ Lass, they got me on my feet. Vincent Royette and MC Lightning on the mic. As we head into the final three games, beautiful skyline here in the Flanders region. We're in Antwerp. First time ever that uh, World Cup has ever been held here. This is the seventh edition. Let's see, I've been to Netherlands a couple of times for the World Cup and was in China. This is, I've been to a lot of them. It's U23 and it's back for the first time in three years. We are finally almost done with pool play. This is the really fun part of the competition. It really heats up in the next two days because it's win or go home. If Lithuania win, they are directly into that quarterfinal spot as the number one seed. So Lithuania will secure first place with a win. Or by lose, they can even lose with a maximum of seven points. So they're in a good position. Or lose by a maximum of seven, but if they score at least 11, they're in. So 11 is their magic number. Germany come in at two and one. They beat Chile, they beat Chinese Taipei, they lost to Mongolia to start the day in a 19-16 win. You'll remember that Davos Sambu got that game ceiling dunk in the final moments. And the Germans are here. Alan Boger, Bastian Landgraf, Kevin Bryant, Nicholas Heinrich Geske. You know the Lithuanians by now. If you don't, where you been? Darius Tarvidis, Gentautis Matulis, Ignas Vaikus, and Marius Ujupis. You're gonna be black, okay? Coin flip is happening. Okay, red ball start. It's gonna be red ball to start. If it should go to overtime, which it might. This is, I think this one has the potential to be a close game. It would be Lithuania ball in overtime. We'll cross that bridge if we get there. Yeah, yeah. 10 minutes on the game clock. It's a 10-minute sprint to 21. As Pool B for the men is getting closer to being decided. Ignis Vaidkus, I've already decided. He's, he's one of the best players in the competition. He was the most spectacular player in 2021. I didn't say it, everybody else did. And I don't disagree. He's back, he's hooping. Nicholas Gesque at 28 years old. A good player, we saw him have players on skates out here in pool play. Good handle on the ball, explosive guard. Spoken a lot about Kevin Bryant, and what he brings to this team, those intangibles. Really those things that you can't quantify with a stat. Those hustle plays, tracking down rebounds. We, we do keep track of rebounds, but you, you know what I'm saying. They'll have their final words in each huddle before they get to it. They exchange pleasantries before it potentially gets unpleasant in the heat of battle between the lines. The countdown's over, so that means it's time to go. Let's get it. Bryant will hand it off to Geske. Oh, threw it right into Bryant's leg. Lucky they didn't turn that over. Boger has it stolen away as Vaikus will let it fly from the corner. Not that time, Boger, quick. Ball movement to Geske. He's got Uzupas in front of him. He steps back and he says, take that. With Diddy on him, two nothing, Germany. Now, Germany are already qualified, but they will secure first place with a win if they score 18 or more, and they beat Lithuania by eight points or more. So Germany not only need a win, but they need pretty much a blowout. Eight points in 3x3 would qualify as a, as a blowout. So the Lithuanians got to get to it. Uh, that is not exactly how to do it. Got to hold on to the ball. The Lithuanian women's team is already through. They'll be playing on day five. So they're getting dual representation in a tournament that features 27 countries. Started off with 40 teams. We're 
are now dwindling the field down. Oh, vicious block by Koos. Palmed it. Vaikus lays it. Foul white. So we'll see eight teams compete in the first time ever. And we're holding a play-in round. And obviously four teams straight to the quarterfinals. So that's... 12 for each gender, so 24 teams will move on in total out of the 40 that we started with. Matulis will hand it off, three-man weave action. Tarvidis can't hit anything. I'm not sure why he was hustling so hard for the rebound. That would have been a, a travel had he touched it, right? You can't airball in there and go and touch it. One point lead early for the Germans. Kevin Bryant to the hole strong. Vaikus will take over, top of the key. He gets a screen from Tarbidis. Dribble drive. In and out, we'll swing it. Darius, he's on the move, drops it off. Teamwork making the dream work. Look at the defense here from Matulis pressuring Brian as Geske will make his move on Tarvidis. Hezzy, he left him like he was late for work. Four to two is where we stand. The Germans, oh, they fell asleep. Vaikus takes advantage for the easy crib. Bryant with the kick over, he's gonna cut. He blew a tire, but he had some help. He gets helped up by Matulis, who just hacked him. Three fouls apiece. Bryant will restart it. Fresh 12. Boger, who was their top scorer coming into the day, he wants to distribute here. Bryant tracks down the rebound. Tarvidis is called for the foul. This is not going to be an easy win for Lithuania, despite coming in as the favorite. They are the two seed. Germany is the seven seed. The German women are also through, so they are also dual represented. And neither of these teams have medaled at a World Cup, so plenty of incentive for them to put their best foot forward as the best 3x3 teams in the world go toe-to-toe -to -toe out here in Antwerp. That one missed at the rim as Bryant will set up shop again. He's going to slip, and Landgraf will get it back to Bryant. He sets his sights on a two-piece, and he shreds the threads. Two to the head. 7-3, Germany. Tarvidis lets it go, and he answers with a double himself. Boger hits it. Different strokes for different folks. Deuces are wild as we got a 9-5 game. It's been a wild start in the first nearly three minutes of this contest. By Koos. This is probably the marquee game of the final session. Class is not in session from two range. By Koos missed it. Boger. Moving left, but an offensive foul as Uzi hits the deck. Boger hits the bench. Bryant is in. It's the DRE. It's the 3x3. 9-5. Vikus. The moves, the kick. Tarvidis. Defense all over him. It lands in the lap of Vaikus, who beats the shot clock. Whoa, Vaikus trying to get that loose ball. He climbed on Bryant's back. TV timeout. Let's listen in to the Germans. 
Keep it up. Yes, I must. I must special up there. Oh, I'm special. 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 Look back at some of the highlights in this one. Germany has jumped out to an early advantage. Oh, that was deeper than the Pacific. Boger splashed it from the logo. Tarvinis will turn around and answer. He gets one for two. Foul red. It'll go over to White. Germany with no more to give. Six fouls on the Germans with a four-point lead. Uzi working from the elbow. Tarvidis will come around. He moves left. Had some space, but it's gap is closed. Didn't matter. He scores through the contact anyway. Boger over to Bryant. Bryant looking for somebody to give it to. Grab on White. You're not going to get much past the officials in this one. Edmund Ho on the baseline. Glenn to it at the top. Guess game. Pass is deflected. Lithuanians clear. Vaikus spins baseline. Patience is key. One possession game, two point game, Germany in front. Geske, he gives it up to Bryant. Bryant falls to the ground. Three in the key, meantime, is called on Landgraf. will give it to Tarvidis. He fakes the handoff. Uzi comes back around. Very difficult to get him that ball because of the defensive pursuit. takes the screen, lost it in. Another foul on Lithuania. All even with six fouls apiece now. Next defensive foul, we'll see free throws. We show some love to the local fans here. This, this is a pretty much packed venue right here. And no Belgian teams playing. Yes, game. Threads the needle. Pinpoint pass to set up a 12 score for the Germans as Vikos, he makes it a 12-10 game. Jeske looks off the defense. But the two doesn't go. Good positioning down there for Matulis. He's in his toolbox. Foul on Tarvis. He knew he was going to get the whistle. So Germany with a one point lead as it is. It could be up to three, depending on what Geske does. Geske. Second one, same thing. Perfect trip to the strike. Harassing defense. Nobody home there for the two-handed flush from Matulis. Bryant goes
goes for the scoop. Tough attempt. 426 and counting left. Tarbidis, excuse me, in a rush to the cup. Lithuania draw within one. Geske, oh, he missed Bryant on the cut. Wasn't looking. Look at that release. Narrow miss. Bryant throws it in spin cycle, and he comes up with the layup. Uzi runs it to Boger. Boger couldn't move quite quickly enough. TV timeout as we're a tick under four minutes. Both teams in the penalty, and two free throws coming for the Lithuanians after a brief timeout. And we peek into the Lithuanian huddle. Oh, Uzi fires a blank on the first of two. Again, a couple of free throws in the penalty situation. Uzi knocks in the second one. Boger, way out there. Bad foul on Landgraf, and he knew it. Morning. I believe so. one of the players on the bench was standing up too long. He was told to sit down. Next time it'll be a technical. This time they get away with it. But Tarvidis is going to make them pay at the line. We're knotted at 15. Who y'all got? Two and one Germany or three and oh Lithuania? Second one is a miss. So we split, we've seen Lithuania split their last four attempts at the strike. Tarvidis, oh wow, that looked like it was good. That's off of red. Jupis patiently, oh, that's a, a double foul. So white ball, white ball. Is the double fouls neutralize each other. Geske took a shot in the face. He's trying to check up with Vaikus. Vaikus has some space. Now he's defended by Boger. Oh, ran out of time. Got to be quicker than that. Past the three and a half minute mark, it's crunch time. Like we opened a bag of potato chips. Who's more hungry for the victory? We'll find out in the next three plus minutes. Look at that hustle from Landgraf. Germans are laying it all on the line. They're going to be, I mean, they're going to play tomorrow. They would have to win by eight, which is impossible now. Lithuania, by the way, has reached that magic number of 11. So they're good. Uh, the seeding is decided, actually. I hated to uh, ruin the story for you. But here with under three minutes to play, that, that's the situation. Travel call. There can't be a eight point win for the Germans. Timeout red. 
Das war direkt im Motion. Dann wechseln wir beiden an Angriffe und weg. SK takes the Wilson. Miss Bryant on the cut. Rebound goes to the Lithuanians. Matulis spins and wins. Lithuania in front for the moment. Volger looks at the defender, launches the two. Bryant snatches the board. He's defended. Six to shoot. They're going to have to go at it again. And it's the same matchup. Will Bryant win this time? No. Loose ball goes to Uzi. Bryant's down. He's going to have his pass stolen. Gesge clears it. But an offensive foul. As Bryant was trying to shield the defender and give Gesge a, an open lane to the left. He draws the whistle. An offensive foul, so no free throws. But possession will go to Lithuania. Vaikus. Nobody home. Lithuania. Up 17-15. Bryant forcing up a two late in the shot clock. So Lithuania is starting to lock in. Their fans are saying, don't foul. Germany in the double penalty with 10. So that two-point deficit, while it's only a one possession, Things much more difficult because they can't foul. Back rim, Tarvinis just off target. That's a layup for Boger. He takes the double dare, and it's all even at 17 apiece. Vaikus, offensive, offensive foul. Nine on Lithuania. Here come the Germans. Yes, gay flame from the right side. Germans up 19 to 17. If they do that again, this will be that'll be game. Ujupis will step back. It's air mail. Look at Tarvidis with the footwork and the wrist work. 19 up. All offensive foul call. Smatulis hits the deck. Possession back over to Lithuania. Under a minute to go. The fans are in it. I've never left it. You better be in it too. Hey, to get first place because in total they've outscored the Germans in pool play. But they like to just earn it with a win. You better believe that. Tarvin is, he leaves Uzi open. And Uzi pulls the trigger. 21-19, Lithuania, 4-0. So the guys in green are going to the quarterfinals. Germany finishes 2-2. Two and two. But they, too, will be playing tomorrow. Again, it was decided that both of these teams were going to qualify, but we didn't know what the seeding would be. 
That's the last shot. He throws it up. And it reaches its mark. Uzi. He's got it off safety. And he shoots his team into the quarters as we shoot it over to Julian DeBove, who's standing by with Darius Tarvidis. Darius, uh, a slow start in this game, but little by little you came back. Crazy shot in the corner. And an amazing shot by uh, Ujupis uh, to, to finish the game. Yeah, it was a very tough game. I'm happy that we have this game. We need this kind of game. And of course, I'm happy we win. Yeah, with this team, anyone can shoot, you know, anyone can score on the Lithuanian team. It's a, it's a brand new team, it's a very different team from the team we saw in Paris win the silver medal just a year ago. Talk about how you managed to create chemistry on this team and have so many weapons. I mean, well, I know those guys uh, a long time ago, I played with them too. So it's, uh, chemistry is very good, uh, we know each other very good. Of course on the court there is some uh, misunderstandings, uh, like it's our first tournament together. But this group is uh, great. I love those guys. And uh, to win a game like that, it shows that we have a heart and character. Okay, good luck in the quarterfinals. Thank you. We will need it. So they came, they saw, they conquered. But it was not without a major test against the Germans. That came down to a final shot. And you, you knew it was going to be a good one. I said it was probably going to be the marquee matchup of the final session, and it lived up to the hype. Germany, although finishing with a 2-2 two two record, they got the ability to compete with anybody out here. That Lithuanian experience, and obviously the guts that Uzi has is the reason why they won the game, not Tarvinus as well, because he did hit that two in the corner that was clutch. But an all-around well-balanced effort from the Lithuanians. Nothing to hang your head about if, if you cheer for this German team. You got plenty to be encouraged about as they headed to the play-in game. If they can put it together, you can see this team potentially going deep. If is the operative word, they can put it together. Lithuania put together some more consistent play at the end. A little bit sloppy in terms of the fouls as they racked up for both teams. But smart plays like that ended up being the difference for Lithuania. See Kevin Bryant hustling, muscling that one up. And Matula's doing the same. Vankus, no defense there. And this was when the game really started to go back and forth. At this point, I was flat out screaming. This is unbelievable. <laughs> he hardly even saw the goal before he shot it. Good fake by Uzi. As he empties the clip, his final two bullets find their target. And they get the dub undefeated. Lithuania straight to the quarterfinals. We head straight into our final two games in a moment. The next one scheduled to begin at 9-10. So we got about a little less than 10 minutes before Chinese Taipei take on Chile. That game has no implications in Pool B as neither one of those teams uh, have an opportunity. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure. And then Pool C for the women will wrap up with Mongolia and Egypt. So uh, enjoy MC Lightning as he not only entertains the crowd, but he, he will entertain you as well for the next eight minutes or so before we get to the next game. Again, Chinese Taipei and Chile. That's on deck out here in Antwerp. Scan, scan, scan. Show me your phone. Scan, I call you. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Leave it or not. Hold on. Young man has an issue. Oh my God! <laughs> it did not work. Really? It did not work. I was. Still... Gil, can we can we put the skewer code? No, we remove the screen. Hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Okay. We received the women's series MVP trophy yesterday. 
We received the women's series and the feature of the year today. We hit the women's series of a gisteren at the OFC, A, B, or C on the screen. You're gonna need in Spain, Sandra. Okay. okay. Listen to the sound. Okay. Who is rapping this song? Listen. Who oh. is rapping this song? Oh. Who is rapping? MC Lightning. Liva? Kai Mogamri, the voice of 3x3, or Last, the Platinist? Who is rapping this song? It's not me. Listen, listen. It is Kyle Montgomery, the voice yes. of 3x3. Just here. He left the building. Okay, one more question. Who is actually the number one player in the world? Man. Competition, men ranking. Straina Stojasic, Serbia. Maurice Mjezis, Latvia. Maximiliano Palero, Argentina. Vizi de Meriz, Filipe. Ben Mama, in Hill. El numero uno. Stojasic, Mjezis, Maximiliano. Where is Maximiliano? Eh, eh, no, Straina Stojasic. Serbia is the current best 3 x player of the world. One more question. Come on, Richard. What is the capacity of the arena today? What is the capacity of the arena? Who will see the answer? A, B, or C? Hola. Hola, la. A, B, or C. Oh, Maximiliano. Ah, uh, there he is. The top three player play. of the world. Maximiliano. A, B, or C. And the good answer is... Yeah. Oh, C. Oh. Answer C, okay. <laughs> Who? Do we have a question? Have another black? Or is a... Ah, who okay. is the only player in Antwerp who already won a World Cup man competition? Mastrovic, last man is Jones. Iedereen verstaat ik al, hè? A, B, or C? A, B, or C? Of C? They are Mastrovic, Serbia! Do we have another track or not? Do we have a question? One more? The winner is Nikolai. Nikolai, Nikolai. H. Who is Nikolai H? Is it you? Today, okay. Nikolai Show me your screen. Show me your smartphone, please. To know if you are the winner of the 3 x 3 quiz. Nikolai H, congratulations. You have won, won the quiz. We will reach you. Yeah, you are the winner. Please give it up for Size or good size? It's a large. Okay, we're gonna change the size. Okay. Hey, don't forget it. Don't forget it. No, don't forget it, Nikolai. Okay, don't forget it. Guillaume, we need an extra large size. Do you have it, please? It's a big man. Last, do you want it? Nikolai, come. Only large size. Uh -oh. you, have, you have to stretch okay. it. So one more time. Give it up for Nikolai, please. <laughs> Congratulations, my man. One minute before the team is producing for the next game. Tiny style base. Chilly. Be ready, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, you are too old for this kind of dance. Yes, better. Do you know the Macarena? Do you know the Macarena? Yeah! yeah uh, last! Oh, okay, last! Last! last. Mais moi la Macarena! Everybody stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Come on! Come on! Let's do it! Come on! 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 Come on, 
I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep talking. Hey, hey, there we are. Hello, everyone. I was talking to y'all, but y'all couldn't hear me. I said a whole lot of stuff that was, I thought, I thought was really funny. Um, I don't think it's gonna be funny on the second time around. So I'll just say, <laughs> it's all about the game anyway, right? Chinese Taipei, Chile. Neither one of these teams has had the type of run that they really want as Chile has found a tough time getting it going. They uh, started things off with a loss to Germany. And uh, they're a talented team. <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, they also lost to Mongolia, Chile. So that's how they come into this thing 0-3. Chinese Taipei uh, the same. They are victoryless. I made that word up. But I think you get it. Somebody's got to win something. And one of these teams will have at least one win to their name. Their Chinese Taipei's last loss was, uh, they scored three points against Lithuania, 22 to three. It's been a tough going. They scored seven against Germany. Their best showing was against Mongolia, where they scored 15 points, but they gave up 22. So uh, still some learning to do for Chinese Taipei. We will see who emerges victorious. You know, the pride of representing your country is, you know, that's what it's really about. Tatilia Toth and Glenn Tewitt will handle the duties in this one. Again, our second to last pool play game. There's Che Yu Han. He looks pretty focused. You know he wants to get a win for his team. Chinese Taipei, they'll fight you to the very end. I, based off of just individual skill, I, I think I will give Chile the, the advantage here. Sebastian Silva. But I don't know, that's MC Lightning. What's up? He's been holding down on the mic, along with Vincent Royette. Had me rolling earlier when he called somebody Samuel L. Jackson. I wonder who he would say I would look. I look like. He can dance too. Don't ask me to have a dance off with him. I guarantee you, it'll be an L for me. Now sing off is something different. Y'all heard my skills sometimes. The countdown is on. Final men's game of pool play here in Pool B. Day four in Yasso will do the honors of starting it off. Check ball top of the key. Let's get it. Quick whistle. Chinese Taipei called for holding. And another foul, but this one is whistled on red. So the first eight seconds, no points, couple of fouls. Got to play it clean. It just shows you, even though there's no implications for day five here, there's a lot of pride on the line. And the lay-in is good. The Silva put on the brake, and scores it. Wang with the move. Kicks it out, that's a deep two, but it comes up short. Silva hands it off to Fernando Schuler. Schuler will swing it to Ignacio. He cannot knock down the double. Silva can handle the single. Jab step, off balance shot, out of bounds. The next and final game will be going down between Mongolia and Egypt in the women's category. Stop, pop, shut them down, open up, shot. Chile's opened up a two-point lead here in the first minute of the game. High arc on the release, comes right back to him. Tries it closer range, a foul on the attempt.
Take another look. Contact on the way up. So Lou gets the freebie and makes good on it. Now Lou with some not so good defense. Chinese Taipei will accumulate another foul. Two fouls apiece, one point game. Nice up fake, Schuler. Lou lost to Wilson. So Fernando will swing it to Silva. He thought about the two for a moment. He'll get it back to Schuler. Schuler, he'll step back, swings it over to the other Schuler. Jorge, that is. And neither one of the Schulers get anything done. That one ricochets off the iron. Jorge to Silva. Silva, turnaround, jump hook. Back iron. Now two minutes in. We featured him before the game, and now he's showing us that he has game. Chi Yu Han with the bucket. Trade misses, it's kept alive. Chian. Lost the handle on it. Chian. He sets up and shreds the threads and does a little celebration. Ever since Carmelo Anthony did the, uh, the three to the head now, everybody has their own version of it. I'm not mad at it. I think Melo is probably underrated amongst all-time NBA players. Just a random thought. In a game that has no implications on day five. Pride is on the line. Oh, nice recovery defense from Han. At least it looked that way at first, but I think he knocked him on the noggin. That's what the call is. As Inyaso. Number two. We get a free attempt. Not necessarily free. He earned it with that hit in the head. But he makes good on it. Chinese Taipei with the lead. They're going to add to it. Lou for two. And Yasuo. Oh, with a nearly impossible pass. They didn't finish it. Another double. In and out. High rebound. Chiang, he wants a screen. Give it to him. He gets it. He gets a look. Back rim. Right back to him. Uh, probably should have shot it. The pass is stolen. Fernando, he will loft it inside. Silva takes his time. Missed it, though. Wang, nowhere to go. He decides to reroute. Hold. Good positioning. 6.29 to play our first TV timeout. 8-5, Chinese Taipei. The mic is in their hut. All right, play resumes. Lou. Oh, yeah, he took an extra step. So Inyaso will take over. All gas, no brakes. Speeds to the rim. Makes it a two-point game. Yasso now will try it from long range. He had the range, but no service. Schuler will corral the rebound and clear it himself. He's getting some tough defense here from Wayne. Too tough. Wayne rocking the, uh, 
what do you call those? Tape strips on the front of his legs. Is that a fashion statement or protection? Good look. Oh my God, so goes up strong. Bucket, Wang couldn't hit it. Oh, but they fell asleep. Oh, Wang, good hands on the balls. He's able to put that in. Nice pace to this one as it's 9 7. Oh, yeah. That's a foul, White. He was stopped dead in his tracks in Yasso. And he's going to get a warning. He wanted the call sooner. Yasso setting up on the left wing. Curling underneath is an easy score for Fernando Schuler. That shot was broke. Silva, then he hit it off of White. That's red ball. He did hit it off of White. Okay, red ball. <laughs> that was a little bit of a miscommunication there. In any case, now it will be white ball. Wang, top of the key. Drops it like it's hot. Chinese Taipei in front as we approach the five minute mark. I'm not sure how that, that's how they designed that pass. It went through Schuler's hands and ends up in Inyaso's. Whoa, close for the miss. That's a foul on red. Wang, top of the key, he likes that spot. He just put a little too much sauce on it. Oh, too, too little sauce on that. Nice spin. Is he going to get the score? Nope. Offensive foul. He pushed off at the end of the play there. Point advantage for Chinese Taipei. Oh, look at the moves. Million dollar move, five dollar shot. That one's rejected emphatically. This Chinese Taipei will come clear of it. Chiang passed the defense and he lets them hear about it. And Yasso passes up the two, passes the rock to get it back. Actually, Silva with it now. Han will take over after the miss. Four point lead for Chinese Taipei. Uh oh. Yasuo wants to give it up. Doing a good job moving away from the ball. That's a catch and shoot opportunity, maybe. Instead, he's going to get to Silver. Maybe a better opportunity. Oh, the horse shot doesn't go. Fifth foul on Chile. Chinese Taipei with seven. We get a break in the action. Under four minutes to go, and we'll go into Chile's huddle. Oh. 
Back to it we go. 333 in count. Lou, isolation on the left wing. Take him off the to-do list. Up fake. Jorge will swing it to Fernando, who kicks it to Silva. Splash. Stepped on the line over there. As we're down to a 10, 13 point contest, which means a three point lead. Just over three minutes to go. The last pull action you'll see for the men. The release was short. Nice drive and a nice lay. There's a reverse for you. He parallel parks it, and Yasso has his team within three again. That seems to be the magic numbers. Chinese Taipei continue to keep Chile at bay. And Yasso, the stroke is not stroking. Neither is that one. Schuler shoots it. Thank you very much. Wang in the corner, and he gets the shooter's roll. And Yasso passes up the two. Instead, he takes the one attempt and misses it. 16-13. Again, that lead is maintaining at three. Chiang can't add to it. Silva looking for somebody. He's got Schuler at the top. Schuler has it poked away, but not with a legal extremity. He uses leg. Kickball fresh 12. In Yasso, now he will set Fernando up. He comes up abbreviated. Minute 42, and there's a two. Wang is yelling at, at Schuler after the two. So you think this game don't mean nothing? Wang is feeling it and letting the defenders hear it. And he's still smiling. Schuler misses the first of two. Schuler good on the second. Wang looking for another one. That was a heat check. He follows his miss. And he's yelling after every make now. There's a whistle on the shot. So Chile, although they trail it by five, a couple of free throws here will make things different. You can get back to that three-point difference and Chinese Taipei with those nine fouls. There we go, 19 to 16. Chile's gonna defend that two-point arc. Up fake, force two. Han comes away with it. Chiang feels like he's going to have a look. He does. He sets it up. No. Nope. It's short. Good hustle for the rebound. Oh. Jump hook not happening. And Yasso under a minute to play. He wants to drive. He's got it in gear. And he's got the hoop plus the harm. Not only that, a tenth foul on Chinese Taipei. And this is why I said things could change because not only will they get two free throws here that could potentially tie, they'll get possession as well. 
with 54 seconds to go. You got to love 3x3. You just never know. Oh, no. Inyaso not taking advantage of the free opportunity. He's going to get another chance, and that one actually lands. Chile only down by one. A critical possession for them as they can either tie or take the lead right here. Inyaso, he slips to the bucket, left his defender, and finishes with a lay. It's 19 all. This was just a five point lead. And Lu is going to take the lead right back. Game point, Chinese Taipei. Schuler moving to Inyaso. It's even, 20 apiece. Next score wins the 10 minute sprint to 21. Who wants it more? Chiang. Offensive foul is called. He lowered the shoulder and tried to bowl over the defender. Timeout for Chile as they want to talk it over and draw something up for this final play. Potentially final play. 24 seconds to go. Let, let's eavesdrop and see what they're talking about. All right, let's see if whatever that discussion was amounts to anything. Next to score wins. Sudden death with 20 seconds to play. And Yasso, oh, he got his pocket picked nearly, but Chinese Taipei could not get to it in time. So that'll leave six seconds on the shot clock. There's 17.8 seconds on the game clock, which means that a miss here would give Chinese Taipei plenty of time. A make here ends the game, obviously. Oh, look at that. He's gone with the win. And they go to a win for the first time all tournament. Chile get the dub as they steal it from Chinese Taipei who led it 19 to 14. Got in the double penalty and right on cue. Goes to show you that it ain't over until it's over. And now it is over. And it isn't the guys who were in front that stand in the winner's circle. It's Chile in red. Last look in Yasso with the fake and then the lay. Go, quick move. What a finish, and a good game for one that didn't have any implications for tomorrow. One final pool play game to go. Seventy-six pool play games. This is the seventy-sixth, and also the seventy-sixth highlight rip. So a back and forth affair. Most of the game, it was Chinese Taipei keeping them at a three point distance. Nothing uh, very comfortable in terms of their lead. And Chile just kept fighting. They answered buckets with buckets. We heard Chinese Taipei talking a little smack. Jiang Chiching. And Yasuo was, was relentless in his drive to the bucket. I think he's got some real potential in this game of 3x3. As do these young Chinese Taipei, Taipei players. Wang, one of them. He hit the two. A little stop and go right there. And a strong finish at the rim. We had quick moves galore. And a few of these two pieces to boot. Off the miss, the layup there. But Inyaso just kept finding the way to the rim. 19 to 14 contest. 
And that's exactly what it seemed like it was over. They made a couple of free throws, took advantage of their final few possessions, and Inyaso puts it on ice with the drive. So Pool B's done, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it shakes out. Lithuania, they don't lose a game. Mongolia only lose one. Picked up a big win over Germany today. That gives them the two seed over the Germans. The Germans will be playing tomorrow in the play-in game as the three seed. It's FIBA president, Hamane Nyang, making an appearance for the crowd here. And a brief appearance on camera. He's now exited the floor making way for our teams to take center stage. And again, our last game will feature Mongolia and Egypt in the women's competition as Pool C will become officially official. The win that Egypt has was a forfeit because the Dominican Republic was not able to make it. Mongolia also has a win on their record that is due to a forfeit because of no Dominican Republic. That game's scheduled to start. Well, I'll give you an official time if you just hold on a second. I will go to three and you have to give me your energy. Okay, I need your energy because I'm so tired. I'm so happy with your head, okay? Give me your energy. Make some noise. One, two, three. That, that final game is actually 30 minutes away. 35 to be exact. So that, that leaves plenty of time for MC Lightning and MC Vincent Royer to entertain the crowd. <laughs> They'll stick around, and, and we hope that you will too. Mongolia and Egypt, 10-10 to wrap up pool play. Stick around, y'all. Have some fun.
in my team. Okay, please make to love and give it up for Piotr Krawowski Sil. Come on. My man, my team. Leave it. My man, my team. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. That no, was no. nice. That was nice. My man, my I'm team. I'm confident. I'm gonna stay confident. That's your guy. Well, wait up. Ladies and gentlemen, I got myself someone here. It's big competition. He played in the NBA. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Crystal. Uh -oh. Hey, do we have do we have highlights of Chris Epps? Gio, we got highlights of Chris Epps? Chris Epps, hey, come on. We need, we need highlights. We need highlights. Come on. The highlights of Chris Epps. Look at it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. Look at it, Chris. What are you talking about, bro? Mm. Sideways. Nabi. Nabi. You will need my help. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm a former dunker, too. Okay. The Dunk Contest final is tomorrow at 10 p.m. Be with us. It's just a warm up for the crowd, the warm up for the fans. Christoph Dargais and John Grabowski. Come on, come on. All right, Christoph, what you need me to do? Just hold the ball. Oh, bye bye. Give me your mic. Give me your mic. And it was a pleasure. It was a real pleasure, my man. Give it up for MC Levin. Okay. Are you not entertained? Piotr Grabowski! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Your guy, your man, come on! <laughs> it's just a warm up, it's just a warm up. It's a warm up. Okay, come on, clap, clap. On the beat, 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 on the beat. One one. One one. That's it? One one. That's it? No. That's it? That is not a quarter because the dunk of this final. That's it? We will be playing tomorrow at 10 p.m. The dunk of this final tomorrow. Be with us. Come on, come on, come on. This is just a sneak peek. That's just for fun, just for the pleasure. Come on. Left, right. Left, right. Come on. Left, right. To the left, to the right.
Himself. He flies private <laughs> and he's finishing with filth. <laughs> fix the nets, please. Don't worry about the nets, just fix the rim. Amen! <laughs> the East Bay over Tyler Curry. Hey, this dude is out of this world. OMG! That gave me motion sickness. I am Miller time. Off the bounce. He goes 360 windmill. Oh, he finishes with the one-handed post. He touched his knees like he was twerking midair. And then finished with the one-handed slow down. Bravo, over two dudes. That dunk was nasty than Quagmire. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Oh my good, the ninja kick clears the second volunteer. What the? Oh, nice finish there for Miller time. He goes off the bounce. A little swag afterwards. Oohs and eyes from the crowd. Staples, 360 through the legs. And he's still hyped up. He finishes emphatically. It is about that time to put a bow on pool play. 76th game of this tournament as we welcome you back to Antwerp, Belgium, this 2022 edition of the World Cup. Kyle Montgomery, AKA The Voice, in your ear. The lights are on, the stage is set. Egypt and Mongolia will do the honors, a couple of one and two teams. Both of them got uh, forfeit wins due to the Dominican Republic not being able to get here due to some traveling issues. Uh, but a couple of losses. Mongolia losing to Poland and Belgium. Same for Egypt. So this will determine who will be the number three seed out of Pool C for the women. Poland go unbeaten. Belgium is the two seed. It now comes down between Mongolia and Egypt for who will earn the third spot and be playing tomorrow. So there are implications in this game after all. Mongolia is on the court with Aryan Setsek, Bat Erdin, Bola Erdin Baatar, Kulan Anovatar, the Olympian, and Seren Kalm Muksaikan, also an Olympian. Egypt 
They come out with Arswar Magad, Hala Eshwari, Moral Abdel Wagad, Radwa Salem, Ahmed Sharif. They got the Egyptian flag flying. The Egyptian men did not make it, but they did provide some theatrics at the end of the day yesterday. Will the Egyptian women do the same? I know they're hoping so. If they can get a win, they'll play again tomorrow. They're the 12th seed. Mongolia is the 6th seed. Mongolia favored in this one with their Olympic experience. Egypt trying to pull off a shocker. This last 10 minute sprint will be officiated by Yuyen Su and Glenn Tuit. As it's nearly time to get to it. There's the Olympian, as I mentioned, Kulan Anolbatar. Her brother plays for the men's team. The men will be playing tomorrow, as you know. We'll give you a look at the brackets and the results once the final horn sounds. Asrar Maged, be careful with this Egyptian team. Uh, they, they know how to attack the rim. They know how to get after you. They play Poland fairly tough, but Poland's just a different level squad right now, so they come up empty. But both of these teams um, fortunate to, to get that forfeit that at least gives them a W. So, again, the win here gets you a place on day number five. It's uh, after 10 o'clock at night, believe it or not. It's summertime here in Antwerp, Belgium, so sun stays up pretty long. We're gonna see what stars shine in this last pool play contest. Both teams' cheering sections are already starting. Expect this one to be exciting. It's certainly going to be emotional. Whoever comes out on top in this one. All right, the countdown is on. So here we go. Five, four, three, X, three. With no further ado, check ball has happened, so we get it popping. Kulan, good defense here. Got caught reaching in the cookie jar. Ashraf, that was while attempting a two. So Anol Batar will start this game at the free throw line. We mentioned earlier the big events that are on the way in the upcoming years, two years for Mongolia. The Women's Series Final in 2023 and the Nations League in 2023 and also the U23 World Cup in 2024. We will see you in Ulaanbaatar a good bit going forward. Never been to Mongolia. I would love to uh, to go. I hope. I hope we can make that happen. One nothing. Mongolia. Strong drive and a soft finish. Seren come. It's an answer right back though. How you love that? Kulan tried to drop it off. Saren Kong getting in there trying to mix it up. Instead, the Egyptians attack. They finish at the rim. Mostafa with the lay in. Two game. It's on. Ashraf takes a bump. Aggressive block at the end. She says, You will get nothing and you will like it. Foul whistle. That's Egypt. Oh, they give it right back. Oh, mishandled on the inside. That's a travel.
down on the block. Radwa gets it to fall. Strong hook. This game off to a strong start. 3-3. Three, three. Bolor Erdine, high arc on the shot. Contact out there, that is a foul. First of two, splashes through. Second of two, same thing. Oh, defense at the rim. She must protect this house. That block is clean that time. Great timing, that is all Wilson. Saren Kalm, Mooksai Khan. Ashraf, late in the shot clock, it's a desperation heave and it flies right out of bounds. Spin. Bola Erdine left her, but she left some unfinished business at the rim. Mostafa. Look at the running hook. Whistle on the way. A shooting foul. Egypt will try to trim it to the lead at the free throw line. Mostafa's proven to be pretty dangerous. 29 year old. Is gonna knock it down. Kulan lost it in. It was a dangerous pass, and that one ends up costing the Mongolians a possession. Long attempt. Ashraf couldn't find the mark. So Mongolian will take a try. And that jumper is the opposite of dry. TV timeout. Nine four, Mongolia. Thank you. 
Ashraf gets us started. After the quick break, there's a quick move. Ashraf missed it. Pocket pass. Oh, precise, right on the money. And Radwa, she earns a trip to the line. Hard drive for her. That one's good. Egypt still trailing by five, though. Serenkan, Luke Saikon. That pass is deflected. Another nice pass as Radwa is running to the rim. Nice passing. The Mongolians have an answer for everything that Egypt is doing. Asrar. Forces one up, she'll get it out to Ashra. She gets the step, finishes on the left. Kulan bottoms up. Thirteen seven Mongolia. They're gonna get another look from deep. Same thing. They get twos like Twix. Fifteen seven. Ashra took them on a journey straight to the rack. They're fighting twos with ones though. And you can't bring a knife to a gunfight. I think Egypt's gonna get a warning for arguing the call. Bola Erdine. That lead is now up to eight. As Mongolia is taking a commanding lead. Hulan. That ball tipped. Mustafa going to the drop step. She tries to scoop it, but the Mongolians get a hand on it. Or so I thought. That's actually off red. Mongolia on the attack. Kulan hands it off. Two is up. Kulan comes down with the rebound. It's a miss. Saren Kong, she'll have the Wilson. Can she put it in? She does. Seventeen eight up fake Ashraf clearing some space. Radwa, she's gonna clean up the mess. They are just letting the twos fly. The idea is if you shoot them at a high volume, then you hope to make them at a higher volume. And the two point shot really changes the game for you. That's why you see Mongolia leading by eight here. Uh-uh. Take your stuff and leave. Take another look. Bowler Erdine was not having it. Swung over. Oh. Good defense, Bola Ardeen looking for a two-piece. Instead, it goes out of bounds.
Oh, Ashraf going in reverse. That ball is loose. Off white. MCs and seeing where the crowd stands. I think the cheers are about even. The score is not. Baseline jumper goes begging and out of bounds. The crowd is in it. How much longer will it last, though, with Mongolia closing in just four points away? Is Egypt in line for an improbable comeback? There's Mostafa underneath, missed it. The drive and the kick. Bowler Erdin, long no. Asrar this time. Mustafa comes down with it. Asrar, baseline drive, nowhere to go. He's going to get awarded a free throw on the shot. Kulan's going to cool off for a bit. As the Mongolians make a substitution and the Egyptians make their way to the free throw line. Asrar. Doesn't make the free throw. Oh, give me that. Snatches it and scores it. Ashraf is balling hard. Misses the free throw, though. The first of two, seven on Mongolia. Oh, second one goes begging too. Two fifty three officially left and officially the last pool play game before we get into the elimination rounds. Look at that. That was in orbit. Came down like a comet straight through the nets. Nineteen eleven. I was going to say the Mongolians can taste it now. Offensive foul on White. Mustafa, left hand. 
Ariun Setsek, that ball is moving around. Saren Kong, they want to end this thing. Seven point lead, it stays that way for now, but a steal ends up in Red's hands. They get it over. Oh, Asrar crossed her, but lost it out of bounds. Asrar can't get one to go herself. Kulan, up fake, feeds it inside. Aryan Setsek sets Mongolia up for a win with a score. Radwa, that's only gonna make a seven. This, that's a foul. While shooting two, a couple of attempts for Arion Setsek Bat Erdin. This will decide the three seed from Group C for the women. Mongolia fights their way to a win and they will be playing on day five as they top Egypt 21-13. That is it. Fun game. But Mongolia, again, they utilize that experience. And some hot shooting from outside, that two-pointer end up being the difference. And that's how the Mongolian women will join the Mongolian men in the play-in round. Credit to Egypt, though, that came out and represented. Takes a lot as we get it over to Julian DeBuff, who's standing by with Kulan. Kulan, you, you knew that you needed to win this game to qualify, and you delivered. How happy and proud do you feel right now? Of course. Uh... It is our first time uh, getting into qualifying round in World Cup, the, especially for us women, women's team. So it is really special for us. And uh, uh, I'm really thankful for my team and coaches and for every support this here in Mongolia. Like Mongolia supporters, you are the best everywhere we go. You guys are there, there and cheering for us. And it means a lot to us. Exactly. When you look at the crowd and you see all the flags, it doesn't look like Antwerp, it looks like Ulaanbaatar, really. Uh, how much does this help during the games? Oh, uh, for sure, for sure. Like, wherever we go, we have Mongolian supporters. And, you know, just having them pushing us from the back, it just, like, as if we have fifth player on the court, you know, that's, like, one more advantage, you know? All right, we see you again tomorrow, then. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Those three words. Music to their ears. See you tomorrow. That means that they will have a place in the playoffs. The field has been narrowed down. Started with 20 men's teams and 20 women's teams. And now here we are 76 games later. Pool play completed. This is how it finalized. Mongolia jumped out to an early four point lead. You knew that Egypt would have an uphill climb, especially with the way the Mongolians shoot the two. And they were shooting and splashing. One through four, they can, they can all knock them down. Also have a good understanding of the things that make you successful in 3x3, which is ball movement. They share it. And teamwork makes the dream work for the Mongolians. Kulana Nobatar, she said that uh, it meant a whole lot to them to have such a huge uh, fan base here supporting them. And there, I told you there was a bunch of Mongolian fans in here and they, they 
kind of fed off that energy and they certainly gave their fans a show. And even fans that don't necessarily rock with Mongolia, they stuck around to check out the last action. It did not disappoint. We saw some exciting plays and we also saw that, which was the final shot of pool play, cash money. That is it, that is all. Pool C for the women ends up like this. Mongolia finished two and two, one of those wins, a forfeit. Uh, Belgium, three and one. Their loss came to Poland, who go into the quarterfinals. They will avoid playing that extra game, that play-in game. So they'll wait, they'll await a victor to start off the quarterfinals. We'll have the quarterfinals and the play-in games going down tomorrow. Here's how things went down today. Man, it seems like forever ago when New Zealand uh, beat Austria by four to start the day. How about that France-USA game? Crazy. As uh, USA ended up winning that one in OT, Haley Van Lith. Poland I mentioned their dominance, although it wasn't a dominant win over Belgium, just a one-point victory. It was enough to lift them to a 4-0 record. Meantime, for the men, the Netherlands with that incredible comeback over Latvia earlier in the day. We saw the Japan-China rival. We go to China this time. Latvia rolls past Poland as they will finish second in that group. The Mongolian men with a win over Chile and a big win over Germany, too. How about the Mongolian men? Three and one coming out of group play. Germany fall into Lithuania, but still making their way into the play-in game. So keep an eye. Make sure you log on to FIBA.basketball slash 3x3 and check out all of the matchups for tomorrow. We'll start at 11.10 local time as it will be elimination play. The Creelin FIBA 3x3 World Cup 2022 continues tomorrow. I'm the voice of 3x3. Holla for tonight. See you tomorrow.